What is good, my journeys? What is good, my journeys? Listen, you are chosen and you work a nine to five. What to do? Let me talk to y'all, man. It's tough out there. I understand. You got to pay these bills. You got to provide for your kids. If you're, you know, an adult, you got a family. I get it. But I ask you to still dream. Still know that you deserve to have your own business, your own company, your own wealth. You deserve that. And you owe it to yourself, okay? Now, me telling you guys that when you are becoming aware and you're working in a job, you know that time and energy is two, are the two most important things on this earth. And that is really what's going to fund your career, fund your business, fund your happiness, really, is having the time and the energy. You feel me? Um, but it's tough. But like I told you, I ask you to continue to dream. Whenever you are off from your job and you have time, work on your business. I don't care if it's just one client, if it's just one video, two videos, if it's just you researching things about your job, do that. I mean, not your job, about your um, dreams, do that. Because literally, I'm working a job, but I'm still out here shooting videos and being consistent. I've seen, okay, I need to create this plan. If I know I work this day and I work that day, okay, I need to make sure I work on my business on this day because if I don't, I'm not gonna be as consistent. I'm not gonna have a flow. So you gotta get out here and you gotta kinda fight, man. But we are not lazy people that are chosen. We love to generally work, but we just wanna work on our own business. You know, like I've seen where people have been on jobs for 20, 10 years, 15 years, and they have nothing to show for it. I remember being at my job and I'm, you know, picking some up and I'm putting it down. And I remember getting mad. I remember yelling at the universe like, universe, this is not life. Like, I'm thankful for this job because many people don't have it. But I'm like, this is not my life. And I know it's not my life. You've told me, you've shown me that I can have more. And I feel like I deserve more. And I remember I was still doing YouTube at the time. But my channel wasn't the way it was. So I remember going home. And um, I made a game plan. I said on my off days, we're gonna film no matter what. And I just created a routine, y'all. And I had some hard days. I got sick and I was still out here shooting videos. And um, cause I ate the wrong thing. I was vegan, I ate the wrong thing. Something had something in it and it just made my voice sound terrible. And I was really tired at that time in my life as well. But um, Man, I went through hell to create this channel, and I feel like that is why I'm so successful now. But I just remember just keeping this faith, man. And even when my videos wasn't getting views, I just had this idea that one day I will be successful. One day my channel will touch millions of people or even thousands. And just to see that I'm doing that very thing I prayed about because I got out here and I fought even though I did have a job, man. Um, yes, continue to have your job, but when that time comes to where you can quit your job and do your dream full time, go for it, man. But being chosen is tough out here, man. It's not a walk in the park, man. It's, it's tough, but I ask you to continue to fight, continue to water your dreams, no matter if it's just one video a day, one client a day, um, if it's just you researching your business or your career, do that, okay? Make time for yourself because that's literally what I did. I curated time. You feel me? A lot of people say, Jacob, I don't have time. Yes, you do. You're watching this video right now. You can click off this video and go work on your business. You can click off this video and say, hey, tomorrow, girl, tomorrow, um, my boy, hey, man, I'm going to cut your hair. You feel me? Tomorrow, girl, I'm going to braid your hair. Just throw me like $50. Let me just, you know, work on you. And if, if it looks pretty, post it on social media and get other people to come to me. You feel me? It's so many things we can do, man, but we've been limited. We've been told that we have to rely on this nine to five, that we have to re rely on this um, on this place. But I do believe that, hey, you do have to go through the process. But at the same time, you can create a life that is worth living for, man. And um, I remember dropping this quote to someone in my life. I said, what you do right now is going to create your future or that is how your future is going to be. Because I remember back then when I was in high school, when, um, yeah, when I was in high school, when I was a youngin, man, I had this vision that one day I will inspire thousands of people, um, that I was just special and different. And I was doing videos all through school. And I went through so much. People was talking about me, criticizing me, you know, different things like that. But I just stayed focused, man. I stayed humble. And when I graduated, I knew then, like, hey, 
man, it's, it's time to go full time. Like, I got to grind, dog. And just to see where I'm at now is just, it's crazy, you know. But I've worked my butt off to get here. And if you're watching this video right now, you can be in my position. You can work your butt off and be in my position. You can do what I do. It just takes time for you to figure out your life, figure out your routine, what's too much for you, what is not too much for you. But the main thing I want to tell you right now if you're watching this video is not to quit your job, but to continue to dream with your job. Because we're living in a world where everything is so expensive now. So many of us, we can't just quit our job and live off that little income. We got to have multiple incomes to sustain the life that we have now, which is crazy. Everything is going up, but we still get paid so little. And it irritates my spirit, man. I don't think we're supposed to be working every single day. Even for my own video, my videos and my businesses, I take time off. I've literally told you guys that in my videos, like I'm probably taking time off from my website, from booking, even though, you know, I'm getting clients, I'm getting bookings, I'm still like, okay, Jack, you gotta take care of your spirit. You feel me? Um, so me telling you guys that if you know you don't wanna work this job for the rest of your life, or work in that career, that field, today you gotta make a decision. I'm not saying you gotta leave straight away, but there will be a time when you gotta let that go to to really fund your dream and do it full time, right? But find ways to keep that dream alive, man. You gotta continue to fight. If it's music, man, you gotta you gotta go buy some equipment. You know what I'm saying? You gotta invest with that little side money you get that's that's left over extra. Save that money. Go get you some equipment. For my for my uh, queens out there, if you know you wanna do hair, go get the things you need. Go get the machines. I don't know if y'all, yeah, you do have machines to do hair and things like that. Go get all the equipment you need. If you know you want to be out here on YouTube, go buy the equipment. Go get the camera. Go get the lights, the mics, everything. All these different things will be paid back if you just get out here and grind, man. But being chosen and working a nine to five is very, very hard. Like I remember going to my job and when I walk into the door, I gotta kinda like meditate before I get there. I gotta cleanse my energy because I'm so sensitive. Um, it's very hard in the workplace. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. It's very, very hard. Um, and many of them don't even know what I what I do. And I feel like that is so cool because what I do is private, you feel me? But um, a part of me just feels lonely when I'm there. And it's not like people don't like me because they all like me, but it's just like them understanding me spiritually. You feel me? Like it be so much going on in, in the world and, and spiritually going on in the world and I can't share that with people on the workplace. You can't share that with people in your career career field because they're gonna think you're crazy. They're gonna think you're weird. So it's very, very tough to have a nine to five, man, and um, still be working. Many of us, we are, you know, people are jealous of us simply because we have this powerful energy, this magnetic spirit. But it's not our fault. We've just been blessed and anointed and gifted this energy and I just totally honor it, man. I know I deserve this. So if you're watching this video and you just feel like life is passing you by, dog, your time gonna come where you in my position. Because man, I remember just watching all these different other people make it. I'm like, bro, I know I'm putting in the work. I know I'm, I know my work is good. I know I got it with it. I know I got what it takes, man. But it was it was just like the universe just blessed me overnight. It felt like. Um, but I've been doing this for about four or five years though. But one video went viral for your boy, and I could have been like, yeah, I made it. I just kept going. You feel me? And, and, and subscribers just started to come, the views just started to come, and I was like, okay, I got this. And you watching this video right now, it's gonna be the same thing for you. Maybe clients are gonna just start to hit you up. You're gonna be probably the famous barber in your city, the, the famous singer in your city, rapper, whatever you wanna be, man. Um, I'm not going to put no label or no title on you. You will be that in your city, man. And you got to just get out here and work. But I understand having that job, having to pay this and pay that and provide even for your family can be tough. But I'm not telling you to throw away your nine to five. Think about you waking up and being able to travel the world and do what you love to do. That's a good feeling, y'all. Whenever I'm laying down, I just think about me traveling the world and meeting different people and seeing different because we deserve to see different, man. We don't deserve to be cooped up in, in this job, man. And we working 20 years, 25 years on this field and 
we get like a two dollar raise three dollar raise what what is that in today's world like how is that going to help me or help the people around me you feel me hold on y'all so i just asked you guys to fight man and i understand hey like we got bills man we got to provide bro but um i remember just telling my family like man youtube is everything to me like shooting these videos was everything being chosen was you know everything to me and um i know they proud of me to see that i've attained everything i was preaching to preaching to them when i was younger <laughs> i don't know why i started to stutter and slur my words but i'm even showing them how to live i'm even showing them that hey you can still have a job but still show up for yourself still have dreams and live like a kid um i hate being serious dog like I'm, I'm a serious person when it comes to like my videos and my content but as a person i love to be free and i remember going to high school i hated it because even then i felt like i was wasting my time i felt like i could be doing something else basically what i'm doing right now i knew that if i just had the time because time is everything and that's why we're pushed away and we got to go get this we got to pay this you know i'm thinking about how you know, these lights behind me, these lights can stay on forever. They don't have a time limit, but we have created a time limit for them. Oh, they're going to stay on for about a month and you got to pay this bill again. Like what? It, like, it, it's just crazy to me. You feel me? Like food, fruit grows on trees, but we got to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, I want to take this topic a little bit deeper, man, but I'm going to just keep it on a surface level for right now but if you guys want a part two just click down below we want a part two jake we want a part two and i'll go real real deep into it man but yeah man i just remember growing up i hated school and that's just how i feel like <laughs> they want a world of workers but not a world of thinkers it's kind of like if you start to say hey you don't want to go to school or you don't want to work in this field it's like you almost lazy but it's like I have the worth ethic just like the person that's going to do this field or be in this field, you know? So I just ask you to continue to dream, continue to know that you deserve more, even when we're working your job, man, because at the end of the day, bro, what we do right now is how our future will be presented to us or how we will experience our future, what we will see, what we can do. And man, I'm gonna just keep fighting and man, I almost, got emotional when I said that I just had a flashback of what I experienced today like I mean the world was just like going in on your boy for a second because like I was trying to get out here and film and equipment just wasn't working uh, people was just acting weird I couldn't really focus on the camera because I had so much on my mind and to just see I got back out here and, and I'm in a good peaceful peaceful place and I'm back in my energy it shows that it's not about what happens to you. It's all about how you get back up. And today literally showed me that, man. So I love you guys. Don't forget, I do have a website book down below. But other than that, see you guys in the next video. Peace. You are divine love and you're protected, okay?